Today's budget build focuses on how well the GTX 1660 Super graphics card fares in 2024 for gaming and theoretical workstation use. The particular version of the card we're focusing on today is the Asus Phoenix series complete with this cool white stripe. Now, what we may or may not know about the card is that it has six gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, supports DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.0, and also has an extra DVI port. There's DirectX 12 support, and that OC branding means a slight increase in boost clock performance and theoretical performance. The Lenovo case that we have this packed inside belongs to the ThinkCenter M800 series, which normally carries 6th gen Intel. But what we actually have inside is a ThinkCenter M93P motherboard, which supports 4th gen Intel. And we currently have an Intel Core i7-4770 CPU, 4 cores and 8 threads, 16 gigabytes of Samsung DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM, a Cooler Master 460 watt power supply, which requires this 24 pin to 14 pin adapter for the power supply connector. Top is this Patriot P210 512 gigabyte solid state drive. For some extra cooling I added this air intake fan and we have the stock air exhaust fan as well as the stock CPU cooler. Now because this case doesn't offer the best airflow for gaming anything extra definitely counts. All right, let's take a moment to install the graphics card. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now with these types of cases, you kind of have to do what you can to, now with these kind of cases, you kind of just do what you can with cable management. My main focus was just to make sure nothing's hitting fan blades and to provide some direct airflow. With the cover on, you don't see the innards anyway, and it kind of creates this neat little sleeper PC experience. Some features of this case is the CD slash DVD RW optical drive, two times USB 3.0, microphone and headphone input. There's the power button. And the front grille is actually fairly effective for pulling in air. And the rear I.O. of the motherboard has a serial port, VGA port, 2 times display port, 4 times USB 3.0, 2 times USB 2.0, RJ45 Ethernet port, microphone, headphone, and audio input. And the GTX 1660 Super has HDMI 2.0, display port 1.4a, and a DVI-D port. One quick thing to note, if you want to use the VGA or display ports on the motherboard, as well as the display ports on the graphics cards for multi-monitor setups, make sure you go into the system BIOS by hitting enter on the Lenovo splash screen and hitting F1, and then going over to devices, video setup, select active video, which is defaulted to auto, scroll up to IGD, and then go down to multi-monitor support and enable it. Hit F10 to save and exit, and you should be all set. I currently have one display port occupied on the motherboard and one display port on the graphics card. The main display being this 1440p monitor, and second display way over on the other side of the room is a second monitor I have set up for testing on a separate test bench. Luckily I had this really long HDMI cable. If you're going to be using the better display for gaming, right click on the desktop, go to display settings, identify, and make sure that the gaming or better resolution monitor is set as the main display. I think I've talked enough and it's time to showcase the gaming performance of this budget setup in 2024.